and welcome to episode 11 of the Penguin Soup Podcast. My name is Ginny, aka Penguin Soup. You can find me on Ravelry and Craftster and Facebook as Penguin Soup. You can find me as Penguin Soup Knit on Twitter and Penguin Soup Knits on Instagram. Uh, today is Tuesday, April 9th, and I'm sorry I'm recording a day late. Um, yeah, work's been crazy. My store just opened, grand opening weekend, so it's super, super, super busy. So I'm going to try and get this done and out to you today, if not tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Sorry! Hope you forgive me. So let's get into it. Work's in progress. Since I've been so busy, I have one. It is my So Square Socks, which you've seen a billion times in my Melabrigo Unpronounceable Owl Coastal Colorway. I can't wait to finish these so I don't have to talk about that colorway again. <laughs> I switched and they're on 2.5 millimeter Carbons needles, which I'm actually really enjoying. And I really want to use these needles for something else. I'll talk about it a bit later. So last time you saw these socks, they were about here. So I've gotten an extra four or something done. Right now I'm on the cuff. Yay! Um, I've got like a half an inch of a cuff. Maybe a centimeter. Yeah. I'm Canadian. Oh, I did my nails. Aren't they pretty? Look at that. Whoa. Um, so yeah, here's where the after that heel's going to go. I don't know if I'm going to actually push that hard and do the afterthought heel. I kind of want to make another pattern. I'll talk about it later. We'll see. So, here they are. They look pretty good. I like them. And I can't wait to finish the stupid socks. Whoopsies. So I've dropped a needle. Don't want anyone to step on that. Because carbon, uh, the carbon fiber, it won't really bend. Well, I mean, it'll bend a bit, but if it breaks, it shatters. Not great, but I love these needles. So that's all I have for works in progress. Uh, I don't really have finished objects, but last week I said I was going to try and do a hexapuff a week. I did two hexapuffs for you, because I don't have a lot. I'm sorry. So this one was the first one. I actually had to look up the pattern for a hexapuff again, because I forgot. Um, I think it's in 3.5 millimeter needles. This is in some self-striping Knit Picks Felici in the Hummingbird colorway. It's quite puffy. I don't really like how it's striped. I think it looks kind of funky. Although it kind of looks like a toe of a sock. It's kind of cute. So I'm going to keep going with this yarn and see how it works out. My second... Oh, and I usually always put my tails in. I just haven't had the chance. This one is in my storybook Art and Fiber. That's for info. Manitoba Dyer. And the Sunset Colorway, which I love. Although there is a girl in our group, uh, the Roving Lampman, who is pregnant currently. I've been friends with her for a while. And if it's a girl, which I can't wait to find out, I'm going to make baby socks out of this. So I can't make puff puffies anymore. So i got to wait. Wait and find out. Yay! So, sorry that I don't really have any actual finished objects. Just two puffs. <laughs> um, spinning! None! I'm just not going to talk about it until I actually do spinning again. I'm sorry. Uh, what's next? Well, um, let's say that 10th, 11th, 12th, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday! Um, the first clue for the Juego Mystery Knitting uh, Knit Along by Laura Nalkin. I call it Jugo. If you, yeah. It's Juego. Um, I'm doing it out of these. Dreaming Color Squishy Bermuda Teal, Storybook Art and Fiber, Mist. They'll be pretty. I got some beads somewhere. Uh, you've seen this a lot. I haven't even swatched yet. I don't even have time to swatch. Uh, they are different weights. This one's thicker than this one, if you can kind of see. Um, I'm going to try and do a um, virtual knit night every time she releases a new clue. I don't think I'll be able to do it Friday, but I should be able to do it Friday, e uh, Saturday evening or Sunday. So I'll set one up, and then we can knit on our Juegos together. Woo! -hoo. And if you're not knitting a Juego, uh, hop in anyway and say hi. It's fun. I like them. Uh, review something time! I'm sorry I'm going so quickly. There's really not a lot to talk about. We're at five minutes. I'm usually at like 15 minutes by now. I'll slow down. So how was your day? Uh-huh. Mine's busy. I'm working 10 days in a row. 
One of those was a 12 hour day. I am tired. How was your day? Oh, I asked that. Anyway, on to review something. Ah. I'm not going to do a magazine. I can't find my iPad. Huh. And I was going to do my... That book. Knit Sock Love. That book. And, uh, yeah. I decided not to. It's too big. I'm going to do term knits. Yay. Oh, I know why I'm going so quickly. I have good stuff at the end of this. Stay tuned for more. So Charm Knits is a book full of Harry Potter designs by Alison Hansel, and I love it! I was going to knit my first sweater out of here. My first sweater was going to be the Weasley sweater, I believe. And there, but here you go. Whoop whoop! It's really simple, really cute, but I decided to do my big Kaylee sweater of doom instead. But I had cast on for this, and I did do all the math for the different gauges. And awesome! So this is the Weasley sweater. Love, love, love it. They have an adult version. Don't worry. Um, there's um, Mrs. Weasley's bag of stitch witchery. Can you see? There you go. Yep. I don't want to give away too much of the words here. I love the Molly Weasley sweater. Let's see if I can get a good picture of it in here. Here you go. A Molly Weasley sweater. That is awesome! I don't think I'll ever make it unless it was for a costume, but I kind of want to make it just for the fun of it because it's awesome! There's a little owl, there's a little um, uh, school robes, there's this clock blanket, which is supposed to be kind of like Molly, Molly Weasley's clock. Meh. Um, Diagon Alley, they had the stupid hat from the first year. Who, why, I don't even know why they had those hats. So dumb. Movie thing. I mean, I know in the books they say they're supposed to have the hats, but. Here's the robes. Super cute. Take forever. Sorry about the bump. My knee hit my table. Um, they have wand covers for boys and girls. They have the Quidditch sweater, which I really, ooh, there we go, which I really like. Awesomeness. It also has some Quidditch socks, which are stripy socks, like this. Um, try not to show you every pattern. They have the house scarves, first and second year. Your second year scarf. And I'm trying to show you quickly because there's a lot of writing. They have house hats. Striped is in the first and the second year as well, and one is like a beanie beret type of floppy thing. House mittens. This book has all your house needs covered. All of them. Um, more house socks. They're cute and I like them actually. And here we go. House sweater in child and adult versions. I want to make me a Ravenclaw one. Ravenclaw. Sorry, the lighting's changing a bit. I do have a new camera. I'll talk about that later. They have itty bitty house book scarves. Those are cute. Although I read digitally now because I'm a terrible person. But Dobby socks. I love the ones with the little snitches. They're so cute. I want to make them. Seeing as I don't do color work because it scares me. And I, I think I can handle some snitches on some socks. want to say it, but I don't think I should. I will, and then I'll tag the episode. Bitches love snitches. Anyway, sorry. Here's the hat. I love this baby hat. I would make that. It's so cute. And I know of a baby coming along. There's some other baby hats. Oh, I really, really want to make this. Hermione's, oops, uh, this one. Knitting, ah, knitting bag. It's a triangle bag, and it's knit, and it's felted, and it looks really cool. And then they have these itty bitty snitches and uh, sweaters for Christmas tree ornaments, and it tells you how to make the teeny tiny little hangers. So cute! So apparently everything in this book is super cute. Um, and then we have, let's see if I got it, Harry's cabled sweater. Oh, lit lighting. 
Oh, It's hard to see. But I really want to make that one too. That one's awesome. And then I have Hermione's bubble hat. Ooh, bubble hat. Come on, lighting. Okay, well, it's a very bubbly hat. Sorry, the lighting is just not. And then they have matching mittens. And then I have Ron's animal cracker hat. Which is awesome too. And then Ron's Raglan. Ron Weasley. Ah, oh, should could have showed you a better picture. And that's it. It's awesome. I love it. You should get it. And that's it for that one. Uh cool stuff. Look what I got. Woo! Um I didn't have time to grab a tripod or um, learn how to use it, so I'm recording on my computer again this week. Next week I'll be using my Sony Bloggy, Sony Bloggy Touch. It's really cute. Works good. Got it off. Oops. We're good. Got it off eBay. <laughs> Broke it already. But yeah, and then I could uh, take you elsewhere, we could do some um, outside in the summer, and I could show you around, and it would be cool. I can do a house tour, and a craft room tour with it. It's kind of hard to hold your laptop and go, rrr, 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 rrr. see? It's awkward. So I need to touch. I was going to get the sport, but since it's waterproof and shockproof and everything, the mic is a little more internally, so you could hear the whirrings of the uh, components inside. Which had this loud <laughs> behind everything background noise would have drove you crazy. So I got this one. Shouldn't have background noises. Should be good. Looks awesome. Um, there is a new one. There's a 3D one, and there is also a Sony Bloggy Live, which I can uh, upload straight to YouTube and do like live streamings. But I can just do that with Google Hangout anyway. So yeah. Um, more cool stuff. Awesome stuff. Knit insanity. Um, for my group. Her name is Katie. She's my friend from the UK. She gifted me a pattern. I don't have a picture of it. I'll link it. Uh, it's called Rescue Me Chin Boy and Show Me the Stars. It's a Doctor Who inspired pattern. It's awesome. I was going to get the yarn to show you what I'm going to make it out of. One second. I'm back. So I'm going to make it out of Hiawassee Creek Dye Works. In the black ice BFL twister striping. Ooh, it's striping. Ooh. Yeah, I bought this and didn't even realize what it was. So it's a striping colorway, and it, it'll look awesome because it's all the pattern is like a blue and starry, and I think this is very starry. It also makes me think of Black Star from Soul Eater, the manga slash anime. Eh, I'm nerdy. So yeah, this is what it's gonna be made out of. That's why I want my new needles or my carbons off of those stupid square socks. I want to make the rescue me chin boy and show me the stars socks. Um, it's from uh, I think a podcaster called Geeky Girl Knits. Uh, it's a mother and daughter. Um, one of them made the pattern. So I want to watch them really bad. I haven't had a chance because I'm busy like crazy but woo! thank you so so much so much. I really appreciate it. I love the pattern. I can't wait. Maybe we can do a sock knit together as we do Huego together. We'll see. Thank you so much, Katie. Um, oh yeah. Now on to the good stuff. Ah, you guys are gonna love me. Okay, so first, contest. It's a little crinkly, but I got stitch markers done. They look kinda like this guy here. There's five of them. Uh, it's not showing up right. Here's one. Aren't they cute? So the beads on top are pink, green, and yellow. All random. And I actually have five extra sets of five. So I'm going to put them on Etsy probably on Sunday. I'm not sure how much, but if you want some super cute Ellie stitch markers. Look at this guy. I love his little eyebrows. So if you want some super, super cute Ellie stitch markers, check on Etsy. I'll post a link. And I'll um, do a Facebook slash Twitter update to let you know when they're up there. Woo! 
It'll probably be between like 8 and $12. I have to see what everyone else is selling their Stitch Trekkers on Etsy for. So I'm sending them off this weekend. Sorry it took so long. And for the winner for the bag that I don't have on me, I'm a bad podcaster today. It's the TARDIS through the ages. I'm picture it's about this big. It has TARDIS on it. TARDIS or TARDI, we've been there. It is by JST Laurent. The winner is number 19, DP Temple. Woo! So send me a message and give me your address. I'll forward it over to her and she'll be shipping the bag directly to you that way. Guess what? I have a new contest. Guess what it is? Nope. Yep. It's yarn! Ah, I'm awesome. I'm excited. So, I gotta get this big page here. I have asked Kirby Werby to maybe be a donor for us, and she said yeah, so she's gonna give us some yarn, and I'll give you the deets in the end. But I decided I wanna do an interview with her, because she's so awesome and so interesting. So I asked her, how long have you been knitting and why did you start? She said, I've been knitting since around 2006, I think. I was single at the time and bored one day and said, I'm going to learn how to knit today. So I went and bought one of those starter kits with plastic needles and a pamphlet. It's like learning to ballroom dance from a leaflet. I completely agree. Uh, I needed to see the motion, so I went to YouTube. I've always longed for a creative outlet, but I can't sing, can't dance, can't draw. She sounds like me. But when I made that first stitch, I realized I had it. I knew I had found my craft. I just felt, it just felt right in my hands, and I fell in love with it. Completely agree. Love it. How slash why did you start dying? I started dying just for myself for fun. Last September, I was in the yard and sweating to death. I live in South Carolina. Walking around two chairs, uh, four, yeah, 14 feet apart to make a huge loop so I could dye it in long sections. Someone strapped my stripey, stripey finished object socks on Ravelry and asked if I was going to sell my yarn because she would buy it. My ears perked up. I bought the proper equipment so I could section the yarn off inside without having to walk around chairs, open my Etsy shop, and to my surprise, people bought it. I'm having so much fun. I'm glad. I love your stuff. Where did you get the uh, Where do you get the inspiration for your colors? Sometimes I just come up with a color combo I like first. Sometimes a name. I usually dye whatever pops into my mind. I look online at photos of everything under the sun, looking for colors that pop together. My favorite combinations are colors that would usually not go together but contrast highly in a sock, like bright orange and baby blue. How do you come up with the awesome names for your colorways? Some colorways practically name themselves. One example is my skating rink 1987 with strobe light sparkles. That's my favorite one. It screams 80s. Others, not so much. If I hear something funny, I'll try to make a mental note to use it for a colorway name. I was watching Downton Abbey and Sir Anthony said, you have, done so have you done something jolly with your hair? I knew it was a colorway. If I can think of something funny for a colorway, that's the way I want to go. Orange County, sipping on Haterade. Now those are fun socks to knit. It's so awesome. It's so true. So, what you guys are going to do is you're going to pop over to her Etsy shop or take a look at her on uh, Ravelry or check out the Knit Girls group and the Pimp Yourself thread. She's posted a whole bunch there. You are going to pick your favorite colorway and post it in the thread in the group or you're going to pick four favorite colors and name that colorway and she'll dye that colorway for you. So, whichever you want, if you want a certain yarn of hers, or if you want to make your own, post that in the thread. Because whoever the winner is, I'm going to say winner 19, and they chose this option. And I'm going to say what colorway you liked, or which colorway you named. And we're going to go from there. So, get on it guys! It's only going to be open for a week. I will be closing it next Tuesday, um, next Monday. It's not going to open for a week. Ah. So next time I record, I'm closing it. Hurry! So, um, her Etsy shop is etsy.com slash shop slash Kirby Werby Yarns, K-I-R-B-Y, W-I-R-B-Y, Yarns. Get on it. I'll link everything. Go win yourself some yarn. That's it for the Penguins Who Podcast today. I hope you enjoyed it. We did make it to almost 20 minutes. Woo! High five. Bam! Ha. <laughs> anyway. I'll see you next week. I hope you have a good one and happy crafting. Bye!